651 time for the morning sprint. Wisconsin borrowers are receiving $23.8 million in student loan relief. Student loan servicer Navient has agreed in a settlement to cancel $1.7 billion in debt for 66,000 borrowers across the country. Wisconsin had one of 39 attorneys general to join in the suit against Navient's predatory tactics. About 5,000 people in Wisconsin will receive restitution payments or full cancellation of their debts. The Supreme Court's conservative majority ruling that the Biden administration overstepped its authority by requiring employees at large businesses to get vaccinated or test regularly and wear a mask at work. The justices did allow the administration to go ahead with a COVID vaccine mandate for millions of health care workers at facilities that receive federal money. Governor Evers has announced an additional 54 pardons. Most of this week's pardons involve low-level drug offenses. The governor has granted more pardons during his first three years in office than any other governor in contemporary history. To date, Governor Evers has granted 391 pardons. The governor also calling on the National Guard this morning to help out at least a half dozen nursing homes across the state, helping them address staffing shortages. He's hoping to have 200 more beds available to take care of patients by February. Guard members will be trained to serve as certified nursing assistants through a partnership with Madison College. As students prepare to return to campus to start the second semester, Beloit College says it will require all students and staff to get the booster by the end of the month. They're currently scheduled to return to campus on January 24th. The college previously required everyone to get vaccinated before reporting to campuses for the fall semester. One person in custody this morning after a shooting on Madison's north side. Police say they were called to the area of Tennyson and Elliott Lanes, just north of Warner Park late Thursday morning. This after a caller reported hearing three gunshots. The caller was able to give a police a description of the alleged shooter. Police do not believe there's any further danger to the public. The person in custody has not yet been identified. Breaking overnight, the Australian government has revoked tennis player Novak Djokovic's visa. For a second time, the immigration minister used discretionary powers to cancel it, claiming the unvaccinated player may pose a risk to the community. Earlier this week, Djokovic admitted that he misreported information on his papers. The world number one now facing deportation as he's scheduled to play in the Australian Open Monday. His lawyers are expected to take the case to court. Milwaukee authorities say an off-duty detective with the police department was shot while intervening in a robbery attempt. The seven-year veteran faced life-threatening injuries but is said to be in stable condition this morning. Milwaukee's police chief says the suspect had unsuccessfully attempted to steal a vehicle with three children inside before trying to rob the female driver. That's when the detective stepped in and was shot multiple times. A 17- and 18-year-old were later arrested after a police chase. This weekend, you and your family can go fishing without a license, but with the warmer temperatures recently, the DNR is stressing ice safety in the coming days. Wardens say to use common sense when out on the ice, and they recommend people should have a plan just in case something goes awry. The CEO of Delta Airlines says 8,000 of the company's employees have tested positive for COVID in the past four weeks. Delta has about 75,000 workers total. The company reported a $408 million loss in the final quarter of last year. A series of winter storms and airlines crews sidelined by COVID infections contributed to more than 20,000 flight cancellations industry-wide between Christmas Eve and the first week of January. Amid ongoing legal trouble, Britain's Prince Andrew is losing some of his royal titles. Buckingham Palace says that the Duke of York's military affiliations and royal patronages have been returned to Queen. He will also not use the title His Royal Highness in an official capacity. In 2019, Andrew stepped back from performing royal duties. This week, a judge refused to dismiss a sexual assault civil case against him. And outside right now, we are still watching out for some of that lighter snowfall, especially for our westernmost communities. Currently right now, starting to see a few of those lighter snow showers a little bit out of our viewing area here to the north, but that will be here in the next few hours. Then we're going to see those off and on snow showers, especially to the west of Dane County for much of the rest of today. Now, winter weather bulletins still do show that we're not included in any of these winter weather advisories. They're mainly out to our west, but we're still going to see quite a bit of some of that snowfall moving through. Through. In terms of how much we're going to see right along that border there, about two to three inches here in Madison, less than an inch. And you can see in between here, we're going to see increasing amounts the farther west you go. All right. Thanks, Austin. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday.